Hey guys, how you doing? I thought I'd give you a video and show you what I've been up to because everybody's been kind of inside. I'm not supposed to talk about the virus. Or my YouTube video might not get monetized. Anyway, I did buy a product for my garage door to help me out because I don't have a man door. And if the garage door doesn't come up and down, if the garage door opener breaks, I'm in trouble. I can't get in my garage. I'll have to break the door or some other thing. I did come up with a solution that's kind of similar to this product. I didn't know the product existed. Then I got on Amazon and started poking around and I, I found this product that somebody already came up with. Now the product is not perfect, but it gets me out of a jam right now. And Maybe after I play around with it for a while, I'll be able to make it better. So let me show you what that product is and how I installed it. Last summer I put this garage door up and I put an automatic opener on. I thought very convenient and nice to have. But then I got thinking, what if the power doesn't work or you know the garage door opener breaks? How would I get in this? Because there is no man door. This is the only way into the garage. And um I'll show you what I did for my own peace of mind, but then I'll show you what I'm going to do for a better solution. This is the inside of the garage door, and this is the emergency pull that normally hangs here. And if the door doesn't open, you can pull on this rope. And so I got thinking, if I can't get into this garage, how am I going to get into it? So what I did was I taped the rope near the opening at the top and I figured if I ever had a problem I could just remember that that was real close to center and wedge something into the top of the door grab that rope and then hopefully pull it releasing the the latch and opening the door but there's not much of a space let me show you this is the top of the door and if I press in you can see this door is very tight and I still may damage something trying to get that rope out of there. Like I showed you before, here's center. That rope is right here, just above here. So I would have to dig in there and try to get that rope out of there. And it may or may not work, I don't know. But I'm not gonna worry about it anymore because I'm gonna put this other solution on. Here's the little kit I picked up. It was about $10 on Amazon. Let's see what we get inside. Give us a little drill template. Nylon ties. I have two keys. There's a link for a piece of chain it looks like. Here's the screws, flush mount with washers, and a barrel lock, and a bit of steel cable. You can see the tumblers, that's pretty neat. Get a close-up shot of this working. That's pretty neat. You can see the tumblers. Very simple, but needed if you have a situation like mine. Let's get it installed. So I need two different drill bits. I need a three quarter inch for the main hole and a quarter inch for the two side holes. If you get one use out of these, you're doing good. So I'll use that bugger to cut that hole out right there. Okay, there we go. Okay, now I'm getting it together. 
So the idea is to put this template on the garage going like this in the center near the top and drill my holes. There's the quarter inch for those holes there. This is the back of my garage door at the top. And I'm supposed to mark the door 15 to 20 inches below the top. 15 is here, 20 is almost at the seam, so I'm thinking like right in here at 16. And I might be able to use this hole that already exists to, for my pilot hole. I think I'll drill from the inside out. I'll raise the door and make sure what's on the other side before I start. might look better at 15 actually or lower eh. it'll probably be okay at 16 yeah it'll be okay so yeah it would look better if it were here from the outside but I really think it needs to go down a little bit this would be the minimum that they recommend and this would be the maximum I'm thinking this hole because it'll give a little better angle. It won't be such a sharp angle. And I think it'll look fine. And I can use this hole for a pilot hole. So I think I'll go right there. 16 inches from the top. Yeah. It'll go like that. Let's see if we can drill that out with our hole saw that we put together. Yeah, I think I'll look for a different bit. This thing's wampus. I think I have a big step bit. Look for that. I think problem solved. Look what I found. I tripped over your foot. See how close we're getting. Still gotta go a little wider. This step bit's working great though. I just hope it doesn't bust through the other side and make a mess of my door. I'm still not through the other side of that door. I'm gonna have to go through the other side. I'll poke center. Okay, let's go on the other side and see what a mess we have. Okay, this slips through. just need to drill for the two screws yeah up here his work's coming out anyway I need a pencil and a punch I need to go back out
I didn't bring the screws with me, so I guess I gotta go in again. Back on the inside. I think I'll sand that one a little bit too. We're on target. Yeah, I can see through that one, sort of. Let me get the other one. You can see through that one for sure. Outside one more time. I'm going to push those screws through Then I'm going to lift the door again. I'm going to put tape on the screws. You'll see why Okay, I got the door open, so I'm going to go ahead and put the uh, nuts on the back of these screws that are taped in place. Looks like a pretty good fit. Let's see if the key works now. I'm just hooking up the string to this chain link thing that they gave in the kit. Along with this wire which is the one that goes to the outside. Okay that's how they wanted you to put it on but look how much cable I have left over. And I just don't like that. So what I'm going to do is loop it. I wonder why they didn't give me a way to adjust that smaller. But I've got it tied up here with the included zip tie just like they showed. And there's the picture. So yes, there's a giant loop of wire. That's not any good. I'll temporarily leave it like that, but I'm going to have to get that tool and make a new piece or shorten that piece up. There was one trick to installing this. It does matter if this bracket goes up or down. There's a little notch on the other side and that should go in the down position because the barrel can only fit in there one way, even though it looks like it can fit in two ways. And you want to fit it in so that the barrel is on the bottom. Okay, I'm going to shut this and we're going to try it out. So let's say the garage door opener is broken and I can't get into my garage. I don't have a man door and there's no windows in the garage. So I get my key. Okay, I got my key. I pull out. On this. Pull. You hear that? Now I should. We're in. So it disconnected it from the trolley so it worked. Great. Well there you have it. There's my fix for my garage door. Yes, I know it's not perfect. But I think once I trim that steel cable and loop it around and use a proper crimp on it, it will be just fine. 
they should have sent me a clamp that I could adjust my own length if they were I appreciate the extra cable but in this case it's not something that you can easily mend yourself you need that tool to do a good job I wanted to let you know you're gonna be at home looking for stuff to do and I made a playlist on my channel and I'll put a link down below of every video that I've made in the eight years almost a decades worth of videoing for the Guru Brew channel I also probably have another hundred videos in the Guru Brew 2 channel but I made this playlist just of this channel and I can tell you that there's like five days worth of videos there so if you're bored I appreciate a look just watch as many as you can it helps me for sure and stay safe and don't sneeze on anyone see you later bye for now